All right, now, gang, this is definitely going to be a different video because we are going to need this today. And I have, like, never used this in a video. I got some little, you know what I'm saying, little spots on the hair. But anyways, we're going to need this. Now, y'all know we definitely going to need the 300. Definitely need the pocket cap in this case. We might want to trick on somebody later. And then living in Detroit, you definitely know you need a blammer. You know what I'm saying? You need that fire. You just need that fire on you. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So we are on the way to the heart of downtown Detroit, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that's where your boy from. I'm bumping that Skillet Baby. That Skillet Baby tape so hard, man. But yes, this is beautiful Detroit, Michigan, where your boy from. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful sometimes. At the times, it's, it's terrible. You know what I'm saying? But take the good, take the bad, and shit. I don't know what to do with it. Y'all, it ain't every day in traffic. You in downtown Detroit, Michigan, and you see a Porsche right there. Porsche 911 to be exact. Man, look at Detroit downtown, man. I really don't come out here, you know what I'm saying, during the day. I usually come down here during the night. We, you know, I, I can't say we'll be out here, but it'd be a lot of, you know what I'm saying, out here, you know what I'm saying, you might get you one, you might not, you know what I'm saying, because we all know Detroit females are like, they, they bougie, you know what I'm saying, they bougie, they bougie, they bougie, man. But yeah, we finna find nice scenery. There we go, but man, today's video is gonna be more of a serious video. Even though, you know what I'm saying, y'all might see me laugh and joke a lot, but I'm driving my car and I am kind of terrified because what I have just read on the internet is crazy. So I'm in the Reddit community group and I have read a lot of forums about these cars. All first gen Chrysler, Dodge, um, all that sort. All first gens, man. And it's kind of scary me driving my car, so I'm about to go find somewhere to park. Then I'm about to go put it up, and then we're gonna try to call the dealership to see what they say. But y'all, man, this is this is kind of scary. So I'm gonna tap back in when we find somewhere to park, and we're gonna let that be it. Circle. Oh, it's not gonna be good. All right, y'all. I feel like I have prolonged y'all enough. Now it's time to get inside the video. So I told you guys earlier there was something going on with the Chrysler 300. You know what I'm saying? 300 is the Challenges anything more part price the first gen from 2005 to 2010 is a big recall on the car So I don't personally even feel safe inside my car at all Like I don't even want to drive it, but but I had to get out here and make this video You know what I'm saying your boy risking his life for y'all So if y'all can like comment and subscribe, you know what I'm saying real quick. Let's get that in there I really don't ask y'all to do that too much, but let's get on that. You know what I'm saying your boy risking his life But like I just said there's a major recall now. And being that the car is old, um, I believe, I got my little MacBook so we can pull up the, the article, but I believe three people died in a car crash because the airbags didn't go off. So this is like been breaking all forms on Reddit, Facebook. Like I am in a whole bunch of like group chats online. So your boy is reading this like, wow, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna connect the uh, MacBook to the phone hotspot and just show y'all what's going on. But man, it is definitely scary. Cause what if I get to a car accident and then my airbag doesn't work? Then I already got a check engine light on. I'm wondering if that's the reason. So we gonna actually check the check engine light. Y'all wonder why I'm at, I am at Bella. This is one of the landmarks in Michigan. That's, you know what I'm saying, America flag. We got my boy be blessed up over there. So yeah, that is all that over there is Canada, man. And I live so close to Canada, like it ain't nothing but that body of water right there. That separates Michigan from Canada. So I wanna go over there one day and just see what happens. So y'all, I've never been like the really emotional guy, but owning the first gen and hearing like the airbags are not even deploying on an accident is crazy. Which means you can possibly lose your life behind Chrysler. And I know they are going through like a big lawsuit right now, but we finna get on the MacBook right now and, and open this up so I can just show y'all because I have seen so many different people talking about it. So y'all, y'all know y'all see me in the game, you know what I'm saying? So I'm my boy T, you know what I'm saying, my, and then you got me. I don't know why I still got to this picture is like over two years old. So we gonna just type this in here. I can't really type and hold the camera, so. Uh, so we gonna type in Chrysler. This is crazy, man. 
Oh my god, I already found it right here. Yo, this is like going from Stellantis and everybody. They say stop driving these Dodge and Chrysler vehicles with dangerous. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to say that right there with airbags. Takata, Takeda, whatever. Then it says the warning comes after two deaths. Over 275,000 vehicles are in need of a free fix, which takes about an hour. It could save your life. Now, y'all see it's a big, you know what I'm saying, Magnum SRT right there. Those are like very rare. So you're gonna go down. This ain't even like long ago. Look at that day. November 3rd, 2022. Now this is like very crazy. So me already reading this, like there are actually deaths behind this because airbags is bad. Now it is a good thing that Stellantis, Chrysler, Mopar, whatever you want to call them, are recalling over 275,000 vehicles to get them fixed. Now I wouldn't call the dealership, but it's kind of like 5:30 to close at 6 o'clock. So I will call them get on my um VIN number tomorrow just to see if mines have to go in and get fixed <sighs> man your boy a little shaky up behind this but let's get back over here and just finish reading you know what i'm saying so right here y'all so if you own a 2005 through 2010 christ 300 sedan charger sedan dodge magnum not stage which are very very rare i want y'all to not forget that they are very rare so um, you should not drive your car until you have the airbag placed as a part of a free and fast recall repair. Now, look, it is rare for an automaker to issue what's called a stop driving recall. That means if they issue a stop driving recall, it's like you got to just stop driving. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just stop. <laughs> just stop driving. Like, right at that second, just stop driving, yo. So, let's get back to this. Boom. So, we're going to highlight this part right here. Today, it has been 19 deaths and 400 injuries because of this problem in the U.S. across the automakers. That, hey, y'all, that's just crazy. It has been 19 deaths so far and over 400 injuries because of the airbags, man. And Dodge, Salantis, I am just so glad that y'all getting this fixed. And that I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how it takes 19 deaths and 400 injuries for you guys to realize that and there's something going on with the airbags. Like, especially after y'all get the crash report and the investigation and y'all seeing the same thing. Like, I don't know how it took this long for y'all to get this together. Then y'all look at this right here. The longer these particular vehicles remain unrepaired, the greater the risk of an airbag rupture. In the event of a crash, the Lantis spokesperson told CR in a written statement. Due to a design defect, the airbag can fluctuate and can rupture sprung metal fragments at the vehicle occupants. This could cause injuries or death. You driving the 300 Chargers Challenge, you know what I'm saying? You driving this car, airbag go off, and guess what? It's throwing metal at your face. You know what I'm saying? I imagine if you have metal coming at your face and you break the windshield, you got glass. So who wants metal in their skin, deep inside their skin? It could hit your eyeballs, you could go blind. Now, if I got anybody out here want to get their car even looked at, they, I got to do is tell them your VIN number. I'm sure so look right here how to contact the manufacturer owners can contact chrysler or dodge at 800-853-1403 if they have any questions you know so man i just want everybody to please 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 stop the video right there get the number if you're on the first gen because i have a lot of first gen mopars on my you know, my channel a lot of 300 charger Chally. I see a lot of y'all cars. I follow a lot of y'all on Instagram. A lot of y'all DM me y'all cars. So with that being said, man, if you have a first gen, please just take your time out your day. Cause man, I rock with y'all. Y'all rocking me. Y'all safety is my safety. It is Friday, six o'clock. So man, we have to call them bright early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Just to see if everything is good with the car. Cause it's October. Some spooky stuff going on. So I'd rather be safe than sorry and get everything figured out. But once again. On the screen, I'm gonna put the phone number for you. You know what I'm saying? So anybody take some time out today, call them and just see what's going on with y'all car. Cause this this is definitely nothing to joke about. The next day. All right, y'all. I almost forgot I was even recording. I am on my way to go to Cars and Coffee. You know what I'm saying? I believe it's the first Saturday every month. You know what I'm saying? Boy got a little fade. It might look a little crazy. I ain't. Look at T Baby interrupting me. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, yeah, so I already went through the car wash once. I'm going through the car wash again. This Tesla right here 
is done. Can y'all see that? Tesla is done. So I'm gonna go in here and start this up. I'm not showing y'all the car wash, but today we do have a sponsor we gotta talk about. I did to get sponsored by this ceramic coating company. So we're gonna get into that after this car meet, y'all. And then uh I don't know, I'm gonna show y'all some cool cars we'll in the video off and everything like that. So just stay tuned, gang, and we'll see y'all in a minute. Alright, y'all. If y'all like Remember me from like the beginning of the uh this summer, this was probably like um maybe like May or April or something, man. I had to go to jail for like five hours just because I had to drive my license suspended and like no insurance or some tickets. So I was back there, man. Now I ain't gonna lie. Man, I was sick as hell. So y'all when I first got the ticket, they wanted me to come to court. And just pay what I owe. I end up missing court. Most likely on purpose. I can't remember for sure. So I end up missing court. And they were like some, we don't even want your money. We want you to come in here. Uh, turn yourself in. Go to court. And then you pay. Or you do jail time. I was in jail for like five hours. The uh, judge like, man, you lucky. I promise you I want to give you 30 days. I'm like, 30 days for driving on a suspended license? It's crazy, but oh, I just ran a light, another ticket. Oh my god! <laughs> but y'all, I didn't even know my license was suspended. Like I, I didn't even know I must. I had got like so many tickets, like them three months. Man, I didn't even know. But now your boy definitely learned his lesson. I'm gonna take tickets real serious because they took your license. They took my license a couple times for not paying them. Man, it's like why do I get more of this money? You know, so. It is what it is. It's a part of the game right now, y'all. As y'all can see, we are how far? Four minutes away. It just said three minutes. I don't know why I just went up a minute. But of course, guess what I need? Gas. Because this car sucks on the gas. But yeah, we're going to be there soon. So I believe this is like a, a grand opening for like a brunch house, which is like breakfast, lunch, like dinner type of food. So they have like. A lunch, you know what I'm saying, with like a breakfast, like a pancake and chicken or something like that. I'm pretty much not gonna get nothing from there. If I do, I'm gonna show y'all. If I don't, I just came to close this video while you know what I'm saying, show y'all some cars. I know a couple sweet cars gonna be there, but let's get off this camera and you know what I'm saying, focus on driving. As we pulling up, we got a couple nice little cars out here. Let's see. So we got a Porsche right there. Nah, no, not that. Porsche right there. I don't really know too much about like the uh, Porsches, but it's crazy. Two Porsches, one video. So we got a Bronco Raptor. We got a Vet. We got a CTSV. Uh, we got a um, a Viper. Uh, TRX. Um, what else? So we just left the car me y'all. It wasn't too many cars. Where's the light at? So it wasn't too many cars out there, but I still pulled up for a little second. Uh to see what they have. So the first step of ceramic coating your car. Now I ain't no professional. I ain't no, you know what I'm saying? No professional details. I'll leave it to them, you know. But the first step is washing and drying the car. So I already washed it. Now I'm about to dry it. Pretty much. From here on back is dry, so I gotta do like this for it. We're gonna put some tire shine on it. Cause y'all, this is a sponsorship, you know, for ceramic coating. I'm gonna have everything on the screen when I get that out and everything like that. Link inside the description for 10% off anything you get with them. Stand with the code eBay10. So let's finish drying this car off so we can get this video closed out. So basically how I even got this whole sponsorship collaboration. I don't even check my YouTube email, but I checked it one day and just seeing this this company want to reach out to the car sumo performance so as soon as i seen them reach out to me i instantly emailed them back and they told me they want to send me some ceramic coating for the car so i'm like Ooh, why not send it over but they sent me over some stickers and an air freshener so said 300 already smell good but let's see what they smell hitting on sumo performance it's gonna be on the screen link inside the description use ebay 10 for 10 percent off anything you get from them so I honestly forgot even about the sponsorships. I opened the package up because it had my name on it. I'm like, what did I order? I haven't ordered literally nothing, but this is everything right here. So this is the air freshener. Put that right there because it is windy. Oh, see, I told y'all it's windy, y'all. 
So this is it right here, Summa Performance Ceramic Spray. So this this is basically how you use it. They said wash and dry your car, then spray Summa Spray directly on the car, right? Okay, 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 okay. So basically easy. Now we got that. Okay, they gonna dry. <laughs> They gonna watch my video like he already dropping our stuff. Oh man, that win is crazy. So I bet they got dropped from the collab already. Boom, let's see what else we got. Summa sticker, um, a black one. What is this? A white one, a red one. Um, so that looks about it. We gonna get this process started. This car is dry. I didn't show you all that because I'm just drying the car. So now, let's put this on here and get done. So to get everything done, it's all you're gonna need. You're gonna need your uh, ceramic. You're gonna need what it needs for the spray bottle and just this right here. So we're gonna take this off. Stick this in here. And we're gonna have to spray it a couple times to get the, you know what I'm saying, the liquid up there. Oh, it's spray. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, leave it up to me. I do the dumb stuff every time. So. I want to actually see how this works. My car is kind of dull, so, so I'm going to need like a shine to bring it back to the natural color because they only made so many of these blue metallic. We're going to start from the front of the car. We ain't going to like um, show me doing the whole car. I'm going to show like bits and pieces of it. So we're going to do this like this. The car is completely dry. So we're just going to, I guess, spray. I don't know how much to spray though, but it's kind of windy. That might be enough. So then we're gonna set this right on top of here. Boom, oh my God, my camera's at a half a battery. So we're gonna just like, rub it all in, I'm guessing. I don't know if it's gonna cause swirls because your boy ain't the, the person to do this, but an opportunity to get presented to you, take full control. Just like we did the hood. I don't know if I should set that up there. Just like we did the hood, we're gonna do the same thing. And just rub it all in. Rub it all in. Oh, especially that angle right there. So it do make the car look way better. So once again, shout out to Sumo Performance on the screen. Link is our description. It's gonna be the first thing inside the description. 10% off eBay 10, you know. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have to reach out to them and ooh, we that look crazy. I'm almost definitely have to reach out to them again because they're gonna have to send me some more stuff. But this ain't the only thing we gotta do today. We gotta smell the air fresh nine. So y'all, I'm just excited to see if they car scent could be better than the little trees in there. So we're gonna open up the air freshener. This is like a Zaza pack. First smell, let's see, let's see, let's see. That smell crazy, y'all. Like, that's fire. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not trying to do this. I'm not making no money from this video. I'll just get, the, you know what I'm saying, full of content and just get like free stuff. But this right here, it smells crazy. This low key smell better than that right there. The new car scent in uh black ice. Like for real, for real. Like this shit smell. This shit smell fire. We gotta we gotta hang that up right there. Oh, don't break the band. Don't break the band. Can y'all see it? Yeah, that smell crazy, y'all. I ought to put the window up. <laughs> But anyways, man, I was at the car wash and getting the car together. It's another 5.7 up here. And, um, yeah, we might get that on camera. So, yeah, like I said, we got the 5.7 right here. This voice sound crazy, y'all. It low-key make me want to cab my car. That sound good. So, you just got like a, I don't know if you... Do, do a lot of racing or whatever. So, uh, do you want to say what you got done to it? Uh, shit. Hey, hey. I'm pretty much hanging out with um, SRT headers, shorties, uh, no cats, three inches all straight back, straight pipe to the back. I got a 3200 stall in there with the SRT8 trans. A lot of people say they don't make no difference, but the clutch packs inside the SRT8 is a lot tougher and uh, the valve body, it shifts a lot quicker. So, uh, I got that in there. Uh, 306 gear differential. Um, tune by myself, by me. Uh, 6.4 intake, 
uh, cops cam, car and push rods, car and valve springs, uh, high performance oil pump. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely uh in there, in, in there. there with it. So yeah, I'm, that, I'm, I'm not. I got more plans with it. Like I'm planning to supercharge next year. So if everything go right over the winter time. Maybe like 18, 2000 for a Hellcat supercharger. I'm gonna go ahead and put that bitch on there. So he talking about supercharger. You gonna have a, a beast, man. Yeah, that's my plans, bro. I want to build. I don't want to. I don't want to swap shit. I want to build my own little personal touch to that bitch. They be like, oh damn, you know what I'm saying? That's so, the, that's the beauty of it. So he part of the build, not bought, which ain't nothing wrong with it. It's got him in here, mechanic. So he built his own car. He just said he tuned it, man. So that, that's crazy, man. And then he got the Viper, this is a Viper hood, right? So he got the Viper hood, five spoke Hellcat wheels, new headlights, SRT bumper, fog lights. This look crazy. And it's in like a blue, like a, a nice blue. I don't even know if I ever seen this. You know what? I did see this blue before. Got the hood pins. This boy look good, man. Yeah, this boy definitely. Wash it up until the fuel pump yeah, so he just ran it. It's a little dirty, but. You know what I'm saying? We at the car wash. He just okay. ran into a, a fuel pump problem, so he gonna get it all cleaned up, man. But I like that hood on there. Yeah, I like that hood. G. You want to shout out your Instagram or something? You yeah, a mechanic? You might get some. Bro, for the biz. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, baby. I finally met him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I seen him a couple times. I know y'all seen me on this video a couple times. So yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. hey, hey, y'all, listen. Yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put this clip inside the video because we got another RT over there. Right here. That bit slow though. That bit slow though. I know RT. That definitely was not me. That was my little brother. Say crazy man. Right, though, you know, yeah. yeah. Definitely build not bought, man. Five seven game to the fullest. I'm not gonna switch it, bro. Till this bitch blow, till the fucking pistons come to the bottom of this bitch, bro. And then I'm not gonna stop after that. He talking that. Talking that bitch. He talking fuck. that talk. Yeah, real morning, so. yeah. I'm coming five seven strong. Let's see if we get a little rev or something. Cause that idol is insane, y'all. Oh yeah, that sounds crazy. <laughs> Man, without further to do, eBay shot like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and we out of here. That's right. After the dude did that, we got like a male Karen. He come looking at me like it's my fault, you know what I'm saying? But that car sounds so good, man. Shit, we might have to camp the car. Different day, six hour flight, six hour drive, it's just a getaway. Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill. He brought these hands and I dog itching to do a drill.